Thank you for your help. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for your enablement. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your discretion. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you, Father. In every area of our life, we thank you. Thank you for God. Father, we thank you, we praise your holy name, we thank you for the power to pray. We commit the rest of the program into the hand. Father, Lord, take over. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read from the book of First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy chapter four. I want to read in verse one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly without making any mistake, any error. The Spirit of God speaketh expressly that in the latter times, that in the last day, that when the coming of the Lord is getting nearer and nearer, that when the rapture is about to take place, that when we see the abominations in the world, the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith because they will become careless. Some shall depart from the faith because they will become proud. Some shall depart from the faith because overconfidence will enter their lives. Mm. Some shall depart from the faith because they will not exalt position and purity. Mm. Some shall depart from the faith because they will become careless with their life. They are no more watchful. They are no more watching their words. They are no more watching their actions. They are no more watching their thoughts, their character, mm. their habits. They are no more watching. Even the position that they have, they are no more watching over their life. They don't watch over their character. No humility mm. anymore. The Spirit of God is becoming dead in there. They do not hear the voice of the Spirit, O oh God, anymore. 
There is no witnessing of the Spirit that they are children of God anymore. They pray, they cry, they read the Word of God, they can do this, they can do that. They are full of activity, but the Spirit of God has left there. Some shall depart from the faith, giving ease to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. They begin to carry about spirit of divination. They don't know again that they have departed like Saul. He didn't know that the Spirit of God has departed from him. He was carrying shadows. He was empty internally. He was no longer full of substance. And the Bible tells us, giving it to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil, speaking lies. So we begin to speak lies, tell lies, exaggerate. At that time, without knowing, it's a speaking lies in hypocrisy. Hypocrisy we enter. Insincerity we enter. We are, they, they, won't be, they will no longer be straightforward. They, they won't have faithfulness, no loyalty, no integrity, no humility, no obedience to the word of God. They will be carrying false salvation. And so false salvation is strategy. It will bring a, a tragedy at the end of life. It says speaking lies. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with the hot iron. Even when they make mistakes, I told you the Spirit of God has left them. They are no, more, no, no, no longer hearing from God. The Spirit of God is no longer talking. Their heart, their conscience is now hard and dead. When they hear the Word of God, the Word of God does not pinch them anymore. He said, having their conscience seared with the hot iron, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meat, which God has who created them as received with thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. My brother, <laughs> you see, this remaining minute, we want to pray. We are not praying for anybody. We are praying for ourselves. We want to look inward. We want to pray. I want to back up to Matthew, John rather, the book of John. John chapter 13. John chapter 13. John chapter 13. John chapter 13. I'm going to read from verse. Are we still together? Yes, sir. Yes, we are together. John chapter 13. I want to read verse 21. And when Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. That one of you shall betray me. When Jesus was telling the disciples this, many of them, some of them, were overconfident. He said of them when they heard the voice of Jesus telling them, one of you will betray me. He did, instead of them to kneel and, and prostrate before God in humility and ask God, oh God, help me. In verse 22, then the disciples look one to another, doubting of whom he stayed. 
They started looking at one another. They started pointing at one another. Maybe it is Peter because she is, he is too outspoken. Maybe it is Peter. We know he's always too forward. Maybe it is this one. Maybe it is that one. Jesus was talking here. The Bible tells us they were looking at one another, doubting whom is paid. Then verse 23. Now, there was leaning on Jesus, on Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, Simon Peter, therefore, beckoning on him that he should ask who it should be, of whom is paid. And he then lying on Jesus' breast, said unto him, Lord, is it I? Ah, my brother, the disciples those days were asking. He said, Lord, is it I? I think that's the question we should ask ourselves today. Lord, is it I? If Jesus delay is coming, if Jesus delay is coming, Five years from this time, ten years from this time, twenty years from this time, brother, will you still be standing? My brother, will you still be a believer? Will you still be holding on? Whether there is suffering, persecution, lack of money, lack of food, whatever it is, whatever be the challenge, persecution, insinuation, conspiracy, we you still stand? I don't have much time to read more scriptures. You know how it ended? The Bible tells us in verse 25, 26, and Jesus, said, and Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sop when, he, he he when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simeon. And mm. after the song, Satan entered into him. My brother, drop your Bible. You are going to pray. You are going to call upon God. You are going to lean on the arm of the master. You are going to tell the Lord, by the power in the name of Jesus, my heart, my soul, my mind, will not be habitation for Satan. Satan will not enter into me. Open your mouth and call upon God. At no time in your life will Satan and enter. Your heart is not the habitation of Satan. Open your mouth and call upon God and talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, I surrender to your will. 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 My body, my soul, is not the habitation of the devil. It's not the habitation of Satan. Open your mouth and call upon God. Oh God, keep my heart. Keep my soul. Keep my mind. Keep my thought. Keep my action. Help me not to be fearless. Help me not to be fearless. Help me not to be lukewarm. Help me not to be lukewarm. Oh God, keep my spirit. Keep my soul. Keep my body. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon God. Brother, open your mouth and call upon Open <laughs> Ah, my father, my father, my father, my heart will not be an addition for the people. My heart will not be an addition for the people. The people will not enter into me. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, show me mercy. Oh God, show me mercy. 
Hold my hand to the very end. Hold my hand to the very end. Hold my hand to the money. Hold my hand in the office. Hold my hand in the house. Hold my hand in the house. Hold my hand in the house. Hold my hand in the Hold my hand. 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 Hold my feet. My feet will not fly. Open your mouth and pray. I love you. 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 I love you.
Let me rest upon our lands of God. I'm asking my Michael in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know what's in the name of Jesus, Father, look at the point you go. Amen. Amen. It's Pastor Mike. Pastor Mike? Is Pastor Mike still online? Amen. Amen. Okay, maybe while we are waiting for Pastor Mike to still link up with us, we are still going to pray once again. I want to tell you that in line with what Pastor Mike rightly read to us, so many things are actually happening in this end time. The Bible says, Our the mighty fallen." And the weapons of war perished. Many are falling by the wayside. Many are tired of continuing in this journey. Many are getting weary. You can imagine whereby somebody is not even conscious of coming to Sunday service, not to talk of weekly meetings. Somebody is tired of prayers. Somebody is tired of, of, of studying the word of God. That is the condition many people in this end time many people are belittling god many are following the trend the spirit of materialism we want to ask god and say lord please help us in this end time just as the servant of god told us earlier we want to ask god for help and say lord please help us oh god remember the word of jesus he said many are called but only chosen only few are chosen and he said the first shall be last and the last shall be first we want to cry to God and say, God, please help me, O oh Lord, that I will not fall by the wayside. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Please, if Pastor Mike is online, you can take over now, please. Open your mouth and let's call upon the Lord, that God in his mercy ah, will keep us. my Father. Oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. The Bible says, How are the mighty fallen? Mighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. By the help of the Lord, I will not fall. By the help of the Lord, I will not fall. Women will not make me to fall. Wealth will not make me to fall. I will not fall like Samson. I will not fall like Demas. I will not fall like Judah. In the name of Jesus, I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. Will not fall. By the blood of Jesus, I will not fall. By the grace of Jesus, I will not fall. By the help of 
God. I will not call. I will not call. I will not call. I will not call. In the name of Jesus, I will not call. My family will not call. My wife will not call. My children will not call. In the name of Jesus, I will not call. I will not call by the way time. 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 I will not call in the name of Jesus. I will not call by the help of the master. I will not call by the help of the Savior. I will not call by the arm of Jehovah. I rest upon the arm of Jehovah. I rest upon the everlasting arm. I rest upon the everlasting arm. I rest upon the everlasting arm. I hide myself under the rock of faith. I hide myself under the rock of faith. I hide myself under the rock of faith. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the help of Jehovah, by the arm of Jehovah, I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. We want to pray on all the prayer requests. People are greeting. They want to see the hand of God. They want to see the hand of Jesus upon their lives, upon their families. They want to see the move of God. We want to pray. Somebody has written. He said, please kindly intercede. And pray for me on the following. He said, I need divine encounter with God. Mm. He said, I need divine, I need God's mercy no. to live a fearless life, Amen. a consistent, victorious Christian life. Amen. He said, also pray for me that God will connect me with his will for me in marriage without delay mm. and grant me admission this year. Let's open our mouth and call upon God. The Bible <laughs> says, he that answered prayer. Unto you shall all flesh come. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let us ask him for divine encounter. Oh God, meet him in the name of Jesus. Let him have divine encounter. Let us have divine encounter. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we are praying for the mercy of God. Upon the writer. Oh God, show him mercy. Oh God, show our mercy. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power, and of love, and of power, of mind, and of the sound mind. Father, we pray. Let the fear over the book. In the name of Jesus, help us to live a consistent victory of life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, you are helper. Arise and help this writer. Help him, oh God, to live over sin, to live over Satan, to live over the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, we are praying. All those who are asking for your will, Holy Father, Holy God, let them go. Open the eyes to see, 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 Jesus name we pray. Amen. Another person has written. He said, pray. He said, good evening, brethren. He said, please pray with me that God will grant me success in my exam on Monday, and that Amen. he will leave, uplift my dad in the working place. Also, 
that God should divinely say to my mom, and bless the work of our hands. Let's open our mouth and call upon God. As God will grant this person something. He will be going to write his exam tomorrow. Only Father, go before him. Make the good care place his place. Before him on every side. Open his understanding. Help him, Father, as he writes his exam, as he writes our exam. He will come in the fine color. You are the God of suffering. You can will be the head and not the tail. Let this promise be fulfilled in his life. In the name of Jesus. For the Father God, of will the Father. Lift the Father of God. Promote him, O God. Lift him up, O God. In his work, in the name of Jesus, get to him in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for him all that you will bless the work of our hands. For whatever you make our hands to do, it will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Lastly, we want to pray upon all the prayer requests and the ones in our heart and the ones in our soul and the ones we are having in our heart. want to pray the mercy of God will get all those requests answered and the petitions given in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Mercy of God upon the prayer request. Mercy of God upon the prayer request. Oh God, we are praying in the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests have been written. Oh God, so mercy. Oh God, so mercy. Oh God, so mercy. By your mercy, let all those prayer requests receive immediate answer. The one in my heart, receive immediate answer. The one in the heart of that pastor, receive immediate answer. The one in our heart, receive immediate answer. The one in the life of our leader, receive immediate answer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor Shego, you can hand off this session as we hand over to Pastor Mash. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Our loving Father, we thank you this hour. Thank you for this sweet hour of prayer. Thank you so much for the way you have led us by your spirit through your servant tonight. Lord, we have examined our lives. We have searched through, O oh God, and we have seen also, also, that we are in the end time, we are in the last days. And so many things are happening. Many are departing from the faith. Many are giving up their Christian faith. Many have gone astray already. O oh Lord, our eyes are upon you, God. The wind of this end time is blowing seriously. Lord, we pray, O oh God, you will hold on to the very end, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, once again, we are praying, O oh Lord, that all that we, you need to do in our life, for our life to be complete and to, and to be perfect in all the will of God. We pray that tonight you will do it, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All the prayer requests that we have seen before you, Father, I am asking, O oh Lord, that everything, you will answer everything to the letter, even much more than all that we have requested for. Do it to oh God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we am over all our children who are writing the, the current uh, jam that is ongoing now, that started since, uh, since on Saturday. Holy Father, we are praying, O oh God, as many of them that will still continue the exam tomorrow, Lord, I pray you will go before them into their various all. You will make them the head and not the tail. They will come out in flying color with, with full success, even, even as they write that exam, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we continue tonight, we pray, let your grace continue with us, O oh God. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you everlasting Father. Thank in you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Mike. Please, thank you, uh, Pastor Matthew, sir. Are you online, sir? Pastor Matthew? 
Is Pastor Matthew online? Is Pastor Matthew online? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, while we are waiting, since uh, it's like Pastor is not connected, we want to hand, we want to hand over the church in charity to the hand of the Lord before we run off. We want to pray for that church, that the church will continue to go from grace to grace, from strength to strength. The power of God will not reduce, will not diminish in that church. Shall we open our mouth and pray for the church of God oh, in Charlotte? Let's open our mouth and call upon the Lord. Mighty God, everlasting Father, O Lord, we want to pray once again for one of our brothers, one of our pastors. He's not connected with us tonight because, as I, I guess maybe he has been, he has been on a journey. And he's, having, he's writing an exam tomorrow. We want to pray that God will go with him. God will go Amen. before him. Here is the servant Amen. of God that prays for him tirelessly, fervently for the work of the Lord. And so we are going to pray and say, God, Lord, watch over him. Lord, Amen. grant unto him a retentive memory. Oh, Lord, that Amen. God of heaven remind him. The Lord will bring everything that he has read back to his remembrance. And the Lord will make him the head and not the tail. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray for his servant? Let's pray for the servant of God. Let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the man of God shall be the head and not the tail. I want to tell you the Bible tells us, it says, watch and pray. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Many of our pastors, they desire to be on this platform. But because of maybe one thing or the other, so much challenges, so much, uh, you know, activities here and there, we want to lead all of them before the Lord. Beginning from Pastor Matthew to his son, uh, I forgot the name. We want to pray for Akiumi. them for Pastor Akiumi. We want to pray for him. We want to pray for Pastor Pastor Matthew. We want to pray for his son. We want to pray for Pastor Peter. We want to pray for Pastor Christopher. We want to pray for, for Pastor Victor Ali. We want to pray for Pastor Yomi. We want to pray for every one of them all together, that the good hand of our God will rest upon everyone. We want to pray for Pastor Biney. We want to pray for also Pastor Mike, even likewise myself. We want to pray and say, God, every one of our pastors, including all our women, and I don't even know their names, that God, the hand of God, will be so mighty upon every one of us all together, 
will not be weary, will not be tired, will not faint, will not fall. Open your mouth and begin to pray for all these pastors. Let's pray for all our pastors and all our women. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Mighty God, everlasting Father, who is again so long, will lift up all our pastors, connected to this platform to the hand of God. Every spirit of sadness, of weariness, oh Lord, take it away, my Father, from every heart. We lift up our soul, Matthew. We lift up our brother, Matthew, Mr. Amun. We lift up our soul, our Lord, Mr. Amun. We lift up our soul, 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 Mr. Amun. We lift up our
open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. That is the divine connection to you. What is Father? This is the book you are set up. So connect people back to yourself. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let this power, let this program be both of God with power. Both of the place of power and the program. So Father, we pray for the divine program to exchange the divine connection to you. is Pastor Matthew now online? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hallelujah. I'm this very sorry. Pastor. I'm very sorry. God bless you, sir. I'm very sorry. Uh, we really tell us when, 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 what really happened. But praise the Lord. I really appreciate every one of us. The grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Do not let, do, do, not let, do not let me take our time as we are going to meet uh, in midnight here yeah, and then in the morning there. Yeah. Uh, let us just share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord, the love of God, love of God and the grace of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Please let us meet in the uh, in the divine intervention. God that you go will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.